It's been a minute or two or more than a month. And, uh, pfft, sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Victoria Rose. I don't know if you're still there. I, I, it feels like, you know, I'm out in like outer space or something and I'm checking in. But I feel like there, it feels like a month has passed for me. Maybe like it's been years for everyone else. You guys are probably like, all oh, my followers are probably dead by now. I haven't been filming, obviously, because of a lot of different reasons and I needed to leave for a bit. This is my coming back and I'm really hopeful. I've been struggling and things haven't been easy. So I didn't want to create any more content that was depression based. I kind of wanted to explain, you know, what the new direction is here. Um, but before that, I wanted to show you guys, just to stick it in here, the Alilu cosplay thing that I did the last and final time. I did it for TikTok because People kept asking, um, so I wanted to show you a quick behind the scenes of that day, which was a while ago now. For the a millionth time, I um, am not trying to look like Lilu, um, but I did get this outfit that looked a lot like her, so I decided to dress up like her one more time, even though I did it before. I don't know why I'm adding this in. You guys can just, there it is. <laughs> Today, I'm going to do my first photo shoot since London since London, England, right? I've been doing all my own photos and stuff because of the corona and because I'm out in the middle of nowhere, but I found a photographer based in Pittsburgh that's gonna be in the area, so I can't explain to you how many times a day I get called, you look like, I get told I, that I look like Lilu from The Fifth Element. And people are like, you're just copying your it's net. And I truly wanna dye my hair black just so people will <laughs> stop saying it. Um, I like her, but when I cut my dreadlocks and stuff, I'd never even watched The Fifth Element. Like, I, I'm feeling not well. I feel really sick. I socialized yesterday, like, my families have come over. And I, I haven't, I'm not used to socializing with people. So I have like a social headache, if that makes any sense. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's just like, what the fuck? I can't even talk to people without feeling like sick. But um, mornings are always so hard for me like it's so hard for me to, to get up and it's so hard for me to feel good i think i have um chemical problem like with mornings so i don't know what it is but so i'm going to pick out my outfits we're gonna do more than one and then i have to actually drive there i don't know where it's at and it's like an, uh, 45 minutes away so <laughs> i'm not used to doing these types of things anymore i'm used to just like being the girl in the shed you know basically like the lawnmower girl here it is. It's very hard to see. There's a lot of um, wardrobe problems that could happen. And I continuously will have to keep checking myself, but. I always hate taking my mom's truck because she has a cow and a half. Every single time I try to get anywhere, she's like, oh, you don't know how to drive. Wait, but wear your seatbelt. Wait, but where are you going? But no, the truck can't make it that far. I'm like, mom. <sighs> I'm an adult. Like, I don't, you guys don't know how old I am, but I am old. <laughs> like, this shouldn't be my life. But it is. But it is. Um, I'm feeling really sad today, actually. Shut up. Shut up. I feel really alone. I do feel like a baby all the time. But I can't cry because I have a lot of makeup on. I want to do this stuff with somebody, you know, I want somebody, I'm tired of trying to go through all this alone. I have my family, I know, but it's different. I'll have fun with it, it's just, it's really sad that I just miss my ex. literally meeting this person in a parking garage and there's nobody here and I'm late so I know I'm not to say this person is sketch but this is just a sketch situation all right so I made it I found Jeff everything is cool I'm in Sharon PA right now um, I need to like change and <laughs> this outfit is so immodest but I'm going to do it very carefully here I hate clothes. My 
to pee. <laughs> Fuck, I shouldn't have drank so much water. Also follow the photographer, he's really talented. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try and drive home now. Anyways, so that was my little Lilu experience. That's the last photo shoot that I've had. First and last one that I've had in months since I've been here. Um, I've been out here in the country in isolation for like three or so months. Four, three or four months now? Three or four? I don't know. I don't know. I can't keep track anymore. I feel like I'm ready to come back to YouTube. I miss the community. YouTube's a big deal for me. Um, it's not just about like social media stuff. It, it's just, it means a lot. I've been through a lot over the past, you know, seven years or so and six years maybe. And YouTube's been the con only consistent okay. thing. So many things have changed. Okay. So I'm new to this whole YouTube thing and it's pretty exciting to get started with it and everything. Yeah. So much has changed in me, in my life. <laughs> This is the longest I've gone without doing YouTube in that whole like six years. I didn't want to be filming everything all the time. I needed to just focus and be present. I'm still always going to be struggling with depression. <laughs> Whoa! And you guys can have that. Fuck people who don't like burping. It's not for you. <laughs> I need to be myself again. Um, and having all this time to reflect has shown me who myself is more. I'm out here trying to prove myself enough, but I'm just proving I have really bad luck because I've met you more times than I'd like to have. Seems you have clones that I keep falling in love with. But no worries, I'm all grown up, so little Tori doesn't have to ask. How do you like my song? Worst. And I'm excited that I'm finding that out without someone telling me who that is and without someone shaming me. I'm not in perfect condition, but the direction of this channel is still travel-based and whatever travel I can do, during this time is what I'm going to do. Even if my YouTube channel doesn't do well or whatever, it's fine. I just, I want to do what I did before and live and share it with you guys. So YouTube now, I want to make it something that I just love to do and not something that's for money or whatever. This is just something that helps me, it suits me. Um, I was scared to come back to YouTube because YouTube is near to me and everything, but it's always been a very kind of more toxic place than any other social media platform. Like, TikTok is so nice, but it, it might get banned. And then um, Instagram is pretty nice, but then YouTube is YouTube gets pretty toxic. I think some people are so insecure, they hurt others to make themselves feel better. But why would that make them feel better? And I read all comments, I'm obsessive like that, and I haven't been able to take criticism well lately. My self-worth was is kind of really low. Um, it just really makes me frustrated and upset because I'm trying so hard to do things right. Just let me know if you're still here. I don't even know if there's anybody still here. <laughs> I'm out here, feel like the apocalypse. Feels very alienated from anyone. You know, I haven't hung out with people. I've kind of reverted back into my true self of, I'm very introverted. 
I'm much a loner. And if you look back through my other videos and be like, wow, she's changed so much. Oh, I live in California now, so pick up the Cali accent. It's legit. Dude. My kids are my pride and joy, like they're everything to me, so. Mom, I need 20 bucks. Shut up, you little, little, little brat! What have I ever given you $20? This is great. Stephanie's like, you are so annoying. <laughs> we'll go to nature. Another tip is go into nature. It'll make you feel loads better. <laughs> We're gonna lift this cage of depression. <laughs> It's good. I know it doesn't seem like it is, but it is. I'm not saying I was a horrible person before, I was just naive. Uh, I didn't know as much as I did, do now, even though it's come through a lot of pain. It's okay, it's okay that I was hyper and excited about everything. And it's okay now that I've been hurt and that I've gone through pain and that I've learned things. I want to portray the realest version of myself. And that is sometimes very hard for people that put themselves in front of a camera. Harder than you guys might okay, understand. Like dollars to say that I'm a fraud. <laughs> Okay, um, that's fine. Are you seeing a doctor for your mental health? No, I'm seeing a therapist. So before you criticize someone for like, you're fake or you're this or you're that, put yourself in front of a camera in front of hundreds or thousands of people and then you tell me like, are you that comfortable with yourself that you could show them the real true depth of yourself? That is a hard thing to come up with just alone, let alone in front of thousands of people. So I'm proud of how much progress that I've made and it is hard to be vulnerable out on the internet and then have people criticize you for that. So the next um, few videos are going to be travel related slash um, kind of exploring different living situations. So the next video will be a tour of my sister's canvas tent. So alternative living and travel is gonna be the basis of the channel as well as my experience with everything. My goal is to move to South Korea eventually when Corona um, stops, if it does also travel out from there. So I'm, I'm excited about the tentative plans I have in my head. I don't have a way to achieve them right now, but that is the process that we're gonna go on together. I'll show you all of this type of stuff. And I, I, I really appreciate you guys who have stayed and are loyal. And even if this channel doesn't do as well as it once did, that's okay because um, taking a break and taking a step back, being a too attached to numbers or the outcome of something will create so much anxiety and disappointment. Not gonna so be expecting anything I'm just going to be living and showing you guys stay tuned for meeting my sister tansy not just um not just uh showing you the tent but also introducing her finally because she she agreed to finally be on camera and she has been my biggest one of my biggest support systems through all, everything and i'm so uh excited to show her to you and the type of things that she's into because i think you guys will find it extremely interesting round two <laughs> All right, stay extraterrestrial. We're gonna keep doing that and keep adventuring. Put a smile when I wake up because I know by night time I'll be dying. 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 Alive. Dying.